This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to convert blank or empty fields in a flat file to nulls for loading into a destination. This is the file that we'll be working with. So it's a CSV file and we have seven columns and you can see there are some places where there's two commas in a row because there's no value in that column in those rows. We'll close that and it'll be easier to see from uh, Visual Studio here. So I'll start out by dragging the data flow task onto the canvas and I double click to go over to the data flow canvas and we'll scroll down and find the flat file source, drag that onto the canvas. I'll double click it to open the editor and then we do need to set up a connection manager. So here we'll browse to find that file I just showed you and it's a CSV file so I'll change this to look for CSV files in this folder and here's the one that has the nulls. I select that and okay this looks like what we want it's uh, delimited and the header row delimiter is carriage return line feed not going to skip any header rows and the column names are in the first data row now we'll go over to the columns and here it's easier to see what we're working with so you can see there are several blank items in the first few rows. Let's go over to advanced. If you needed to change anything like the data type, you would do that here or the length. Um, these are string. Everything is probably a string, which is fine. And the retail price is also a string. It has a dollar sign in it. We're not going to be doing any arithmetic on it. So I'm going to leave that set up as a string also. And preview shows us pretty much the same thing. So we'll close that. And now we're back in the uh, flat file source editor. We're not going to check this checkbox now. I'm just going to show you what the result is of not checking that. Stay tuned to see the rest of the demonstration. If you are integrating applications with SQL Server, you know it can be quite a hassle. With the Cozy Rock SSIS Plus REST framework, you can easily connect any web service. Create XML defined configuration file. Process complex services with an embedded JavaScript engine. For additional power, you can use any .NET class in your code. All data is protected using the standard SSIS framework. Check the growing list of ready-to-use REST configurations. Start using the CozyRock SSIS Plus Suite now. It's free for download and development in Visual Studio. The way we can look at the actual data when we would process it in the future is I need it to um, flow down to something else. So I'm going to use multicast for that. And multicast just duplicates, um, like you could put in two destinations for the data, but it allows us to run it, even though we're not going to direct that anywhere. We just want to enable a data viewer. So we double click on that and Go to the data viewer and there you can see it's going to display all the columns. You could remove some if you didn't want to see everything. And this checkbox is checked here, enable data viewer. So that's what we want. And we'll close that. And now I'll execute the package. And there's the data viewer showing us what the data looks like. So it looks like the preview. So there's actually blanks in a few of the um, fields. So let's make this bigger so you can see all of them. All right, so uh, let's close this. This is not what we want. We want nulls in place of blanks. So I'll stop debugging. And 
we'll go change something here. So I double click to open the editor again. So I'm just going to click in this checkbox now, retain null values from the source as null values in the data flow. And it doesn't look any different when you preview it from the uh, source component here. But we'll close this and now we'll execute the package again. And now you can see we have null in place of um, any of the fields that were blank. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.